Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to continue talking about time series patterns and how to decompose those patterns to understand more about a particular time series so that we can use that uh, information to build our model and improve our forecast accuracy. I talked about trend, seasonal and uh, cyclical patterns in a time series. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to decompose uh, these uh, three patterns into various components and here we're going to decompose our time series into three main uh, components the first component will comprise of uh, both uh, the trend component and the cyclical component so this component will be called trend plus uh, cyclical pattern and then we're going to decompose uh, the seasonal component from our series and call it st that is we're going to decompose any regular patterns that we will observe in a series into a different component and call it uh, the seasonal component. So remember our series will be YT and we will be decomposing this YT series into these components. So after we decompose our series into trend cycle and seasonal component, anything that will remain in the series will be called uh, the remainder component and uh, we will call it RT. So these are the three major components that we will uh, decompose our series into. So we'll decompose our series into trend cycle, seasonal component and whatever is remained in the series. So we're going to use two types of models to decompose our series into these three components. We can either use the additive model or we can use uh, the multiplicative model to decompose uh, time series into these three components. So you can decompose your time series into these three components. The trend cycle component will contain both the trend and the cyclical component. And then you can decompose your series into the seasonal component which contains the seasonal uh, pattern. And anything remained in the series will be decomposed into the remainder component. So these are the three components uh, of uh, our time series. In the next video, I'll talk about uh, two models that you can use to decompose a time series into these uh, three components. In the first video, I'll talk about the additive model and then I'll talk about the multiplicative model. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.